Today on the White House lawn, President Johnson presided over the ceremonial execution of the last remaining zombie. The infected was Colonel Kenneth Waterman, famously known as Ground Zero for the virus. Five years ago today, he became infected with the virus while working as a researcher at the United States Army Research Institute of Infectious Diseases. He was infected by fellow researcher Zurai Musvi in an act of terrorism. Colonel Waterman was quarantined, but not until he spread the infection to several workers at the base hospital. You're on my property! Whoa, lady. We got us a zombie we're tracking. This may be your That's property. Bullshit! Haven't you seen the news? They're extinct. Hey, now we just saw a zombie feeding down there next to the accident. They are extinct. I know what I saw. We need to move, Billy. He's gonna get away. That was warning number two. Next time I draw blood, the kind that sets your soul free. You're making a big mistake, lady. Do not test me. I will not hesitate to blow your heads off one by one, starting with yours. Okay, okay, take it easy. I only hope I don't have to put a bullet through your brain come morning. Leave your weapons. You can pick them up at the sheriff's station in the morning. You did good. Just like I taught you. Oh, you did good. Oh, God. God, please show me the way. I'm not ready to release my fragile grip on this life yet. start reverting soon too so I have to lock you in that airstream to keep you safe but when I return I will I will fix you I will make you you again Hank I will never be me again and what if you don't return I'll return Hank if you don't return what happens to me I will return Hank what happens I slowly rot away in the trailer Stuck in limbo as a hideous, infected creature until someone comes along and bashes my head in with a bat? No, I can't do that. I will not do that. So shoot me now or take me with you. Maddie, stop it. I will get more and everything will go back to normal. Normal? You call this fucking normal, Hank? Yes. It is as normal as it will get and it is better than nothing. Listen, I can get more serum, but I cannot take you with me. You just say the word and I'll give you this last injection. But this is our only chance. I take it and I go. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's just let it go, Hank. We have no future. Our past is irrelevant. We 
We have no family. We have no friends. We eat brains for dinner. Nothing we did matters. Nothing we will do matters. They matter. They are out there somewhere, and we will find them somehow. Nick, they're dead. Just get that through your thick skull. They are alive. There's something else. When you were strapped to that table, and I didn't think I was going to find a serum, I held a gun to your head every single day. I promised I would do it in a minute, and another minute, and another minute. And that went on for days. But all I wanted was another minute with you. And I will not give up on having that minute. Hank. Do Thelma and Louise and get in our car and drive off a cliff holding hands. Okay. Whoa! Looks like I'm in the right place, all right. You can see uh, one of them men were so rattled. Manny, uh, feel free about lowering that anytime you see fit. All right? Come in, Sheriff. All right. They were on my property, Jasper. Firing shotguns, talking crazy. I have a right to protect my home. Calm down. Nobody says you don't. Just got to check out their story, though, you know? I mean, they were rambling out about seeing a zombie up here. They say that's what they were chasing before you stopped them. <laughs> the virus is over. You know that. I don't know what they were chasing, probably a coyote or something, but it wasn't a zombie. Hank, where were you when your wife was outside playing Texas Ranger? He was, um, in the shed, skinning rabbits, ruining yet another shirt. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Jasper. She likes the stew I make, but apparently thinks I should hunt and skin shirtless. <laughs> so, uh, neither of you saw this zombie they were talking about. <laughs> Has it been that long, Sheriff? It's my recollection that you could chase a zombie hopping on one foot through a pool of molasses and still gain ground on it. The real mystery here is how those guys could chase a zombie more than 10 feet without actually catching it. Yeah, that was my thought exactly, you know. But I got to check out their story. Sure. All right? Sorry for bothering you guys so late. And uh, um, have a good sure, night. Sheriff, you might want to give these back to them. I made them leave them. They were a little drunk. Probably explains why they couldn't catch the sucker <laughs> or why they thought they were chasing a zombie in the first place. All right. All right, well, let's go ahead and get these out of the car and uh, secure those. Uh, we'll, we'll take care of it. All right, uh, I'm really sorry. All right, Thank you. I'll look into it. Sure. Thanks, sure. Thank you. Good night. execution marks the end to a brutal chapter in American history. With national debt at an all-time high and an economy in shambles, it remains to be seen if America can return to its pre-virus prosperity. All this week, we'll be examining what's next as our nation rebuilds. I'm out of a fucking job. That's what's next. Wanted. Part-time barista? Good morning, sir. Would you like soy milk and foam with that, like a pretentious cunt? Or black, like a real man? Wanted. Foreman. Five years commercial construction experience required. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Walmart greeter. That probably won't work out. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, no thanks, fuck you. This better not be more fucking bad news. No shit, 
I'll go check it out. All right, let's not give up on this. Oh, I'll give up on what? This! You act as though we have the world by the tail. No! No, we don't, but it's better than nothing. It's better than Tom and Mary and Frank. Enough! I'm scared! You ever heard of a scared zombie? Yeah, baby. Because I'm scared too. I'm scared too. Oh, God, Hank. Look. Look. Get inside, baby. Now! Sir, I recommend you put down that shotgun. What can I do for you guys? What are you shooting at? Salamanders. Oh, Mr. Parrish, I think we're getting off on the wrong foot here. Hank, please. Hank, you weren't shooting at anything, were you? Fair enough. My wife got a little angry with me this morning. She was just taking out in the landscape. <laughs> well, that's better than taking out on you, isn't it? Hey, uh, you mind if we come inside? This hot sun and black suits don't mix too well. Yeah, I really ought to review the Bureau's wardrobe protocol. Me, myself, I prefer some soft summer tones, you know? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe Baby Blue might look nice on you. Yeah. On the other hand, this looks great on me. It's very gentleman's quarterly. I always wanted to be like you. Yeah, I figured. So handsome. Maddie. These are agents. Johnson? Uh, and Johnson. I'm Big Johnson. He's Little Johnson. You ever just call me agent number one? He's agent number two. Why are you always number one? Because I'm better looking. I suppose you guys are here about that zombie nonsense. I suppose we are, but uh, why don't we let us decide if this is nonsense or not? <laughs> so, Mr. Parrish, is, uh, is this your place? I mean, was this your place pre-virus? No. You scored, huh? Hit the jackpot. Was it abandoned, or did you have to exterminate the inhabitants? We all did what we had to do during the virus, agent number one. I'm number one. Please excuse the intrusive questions by number two. He gets a little irritable when he hasn't had his uh, daily dose of caffeine. He's right. Do you have any coffee, Maddie? I'm sorry, we don't. Um, how about... Mm -hmm. Um, uh, how about tea? We have some of that, I think. How about some vodka? Not like a little alcohol to take the edge off my trigger finger. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ice water, please. Go ahead and make that too. Speaking of trigger fingers, I, uh, I hear you have a big one yourself. Oh, that was just me blowing off some steam. <laughs> oh, I was actually referring to the incident last night. Shit. Right. Sorry, bad back. I don't bend over for anybody but the government. On payday. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. Just a little bit clumsy. 
Would the, um, room temperature tap water be okay? Delicious. That'll be fine. So what exactly did you see last night, man? I saw three men. Uh, drunk. And one of them had a shotgun. Drunk, huh? I smelled whiskey, yes. And why were they on your property? I don't know. Why don't you ask them? Oh, we did. And what they said was is that uh, they were chasing a zombie right up through your property, <laughs> right alongside your house. Yeah, there were no infected up here. <laughs> so they're lying then? I don't know what they were doing. All I'm saying is there were no infected up here. So now I would call that lying. Agent number two, we're not saying... Still number one. Agent number one, we're not calling these men liars. We're just saying they were mistaken. I mean, there haven't been any infected up here in a good nine, ten, ten months. months. Especially none that were running. You go somewhere, Hank? I know you should pack a bag. I want to see an old friend. Huh? What's this? Diabetes. Injection a day keeps the doctor away. Ooh. So, Mr. Parrish, exactly where were you when your wife was outside confronting these men? Sleeping. Oh. So you can't speak in an educated manner on this subject? No. But it doesn't take an education to know that the infected are extinct. Hank, we're just doing our job. We can't have the virus rekindling itself all because of one rogue zombie rambling around buttfuck Egypt. What we're trying to get to the bottom of here is, is there or is there not a live zombie on or near the proximity of your property? Look, agent number two. Still number one. Agent number one. I can assure you that there is not a live zombie on or in the proximity of my property, given that the nature of zombies are that they are neither alive or dead. Now, we appreciate your sustained efforts to the eradication of the the infected, but we can't help you with anything other than facts. I like the word zombie much, do you, Hank? If we were talking about someone under the influence of a Haitian witch doctor, I would call them a zombie. But we happen to be talking about the unfortunate masses who were infected by a deadly virus released by a terrorist who somehow slipped under the radar of our crack homeland security. What are you before the virus, Hank? Doctor. Ah, I bet you were one of those smarmy, Harvard or Yale types, right? No, one of those army types. Or one of those crack army types who let the virus slip through you as red and then spread like wildfire. Is that right? Thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. Parrish. But if you don't mind, we're going to take a walk outside around your property. A little look-see here and a look-see there. It's just a formality. Yeah, just you, uh, you feeling okay there, Miss Parrish? Looking a little pale. It's just a little flu. Thanks. Some viruses just never go away, do they? Let's go, Agent 2. Yes, Mom. I don't look now, but uh, have you noticed what I've noticed? Nah. Are you referring to how handsome I am? Or that guy on the hilltop watching us? Yeah, I'm sticking with the facts, so uh, I'm gonna go with the latter. So what do you think? Curious cat or Wally Coyote? Only one way to find out. Guess we gotta watch the watcher.
protection only. Have you promised me? Mm. For protection only. There's no easy way to do this, babe. Please don't do this. No. 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 Sorry. No. 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 Why aren't you like that woman in the trailer? Why are you on my property? Oh, God! I'm holding you, man. I asked some questions. Now, why'd you like that woman in the trailer? You get up when I say get up, man. Ask some goddamn question. We'll have a goddamn problem on our end. Well, I guess we got a goddamn problem because it's none of your goddamn business. Ah! If there's one thing that I think is problem. Ah! Guess I'm asking the questions now. Why are you on my property? I was commuting with nature and I got lost. I need some water, so I came by to ask for some. You always carry a bat with you while you're communing with nature? Yeah, since the virus. I know they say they're extinct and all, but I live too goddamn long to trust anything that anyone says. Get some water and then get going. I leave it. Relax. It's just a zombie bat. You know how many kills this thing has? 1,978. Man, there's nothing like winding up and whacking a zombie You're skull. You're pushing your luck. Sorry. You want to get shot or you want water? Well, I'm thirsty, so. I still remember my first, my grandma. She had one of those walkers, you see? And she wasn't so fleet of foot, so we had to leave her behind. We couldn't have survived the initial onslaught with the extra baggage. <sighs> Came back a few days later to get some supplies and whatnot, and there she was, just a walking in circles. So I whacked her. Surprisingly enough, I liked it. I tell you. I'm gonna miss them zombies. Whoa. Take it easy, I'm leaving. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Drop the hammer! Breathe it in, asshole. Breathe what in? Your last moments. Wait, wait. You need me. I can help you. I'm afraid I can't help you. I can help you. You're a hybrid, aren't you? There's been rumors about your kind. The possibility- no! oh! I will get you what you need. You locked your wife in your trailer because you ran out of potion, didn't you? See her, asshole. This ain't Harry Potter. I can get you what you need. Tell me where to go and I'll get it. Why would you help me? Because I don't know how to do anything else. I'm getting old. Too goddamn old to start something new. All I've done for the past five years is hunt zombies. The government gives me $500 a hit. And I don't know how else to survive. How does that help me, moron? You can make more. Fuck you! 
Listen, I get you the serum. I keep your secret. You give me something to hunt. Shut something up! Nobody deserves this. Where do you think we came from, huh? We were all people. This was not a choice. Look at this. I have kids. I had a life. You think I chose this, huh? You think I want this? You think a human life is worth $500, you sick son of a bitch? Oh, God damn it! it's not like that. Old people and criminals, that's all we'll go after. Fine, just criminals and illegal immigrants. You have any idea of how many prisoners got free during the virus? They're out there roaming around, murderers and pedophiles. And hell, I would be able to get a reconstruction job if it wasn't for all the illegal immigrants. Shut up! I don't need you. You need me. Look at your neck. You need me. Maddie. Hank, what happened? It's okay, baby. I'm leaving now. What happened? I'm okay, baby. We have a friend. We have help. No. You be strong. No. Don't leave me, Hank. Please, don't leave me. I can't take it. Stop it. I will kill myself, Hank. I will kill myself. Maddie, stop it. No. Fuck you, Hank. Fuck you. Don't leave me. Don't Maddie. leave me, Hank. Maddie. I am not leaving you. I will never leave you. Baby. Please. I love you. Please. Could I have this dance for the rest of my life? Will you be my partner? And every night, when we're together, I feel so right. Could I have this dance for the rest of my life? I'll always remember that magic moment. And I held you close <gasps> to me. We moved together. I knew forever. You're all I <laughs> ever need. Could I have this dance for the rest of You never could see me. <gasps> Hank, let's go. Hank, let's go. At least 72 hours, no more than 96. If I start to turn, handcuff me, find my legs, stick me in the back. I have a little something to sedate me if need be. Trust me, if the need will be. I'll show you that in 48 hours. Where are we headed? Don't worry about it. I am. Where are we headed? You are on a need-to-know basis, Felix. Well, I need to know. So fucking tell me. All thing. right. Ah! Fuck! And what you need to know is that's the same deadly virus that infected me. If you don't get a vaccination within 24 hours, you will be me. Only worse. See, Felix, I'm smarter than you, because I was born that way, and I'll always be that way, no matter what state of being I am. You are a fucking redneck, Felix. A carnivore, a predator, a simple mammal. You would hump your own leg if you could. I am more of a human being in my undead state than you can ever be. Now, behave yourself, do as I say, and you'll be just fine. There's no vaccine. You just fucked me. Relax. There is a vaccine. You know something I don't know? Almost everything I know, you don't know, Felix. How do you know there's a vaccine? Because I created it. Now, shut up.
All right. Yeah, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. You ready? I'm always ready. I'm yeah, ready. There you go. Well, well, well. Home office ran facial recognition on our friend Henry, otherwise known as Major Hank Thomas. Deceased, last duty station, the United States Army Research Institute of Infectious Disease, AKA Ground Zero. Well, that's interesting. No, Charlie Sheen's meltdown was Very interesting. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is an epic discovery. Our boy is up to something, and I have a feeling he ain't driving to Vegas and double down on 11. Well, you uh, have the home office call, uh, call some agents, have them pick up uh, Maddie, take her into custody. Well, what charge? Well, no charges. Well, I question her about one AWOL soldier. Major Hank Thomas, 